How's it going, everybody? Today's lesson is all about throwing. That's right, the infamous Mystery Groot's T-Step Rotate Throw. I'm gonna walk through it with everybody right now so that everybody, kindergarten through third grade, remembers and knows how to do our T-Step Throw. Parents, if you're wondering how your child learns to throw in my class, this is exactly how I would teach them. When we hold a ball, and it doesn't matter if you have a tennis ball, a baseball, um, a stuffed animal, you can throw that. I want the ball or object to be in your back arm. Your front arm, we're going to call your aimer. Your aimer points at the target you are going to be throwing at. I'm throwing at a hard door because I don't have anybody to throw back to me, so I'm going to have the door bounce it back to me. Back arm has the ball. Front arm points where I'm going. This is what we call our T formation. The next thing is going to be a step. Step is with our front foot only. We should never pick our back foot off of the ground. Keep that back foot down. That's going to be very important. Front foot steps at our target. Our toe should be pointing more towards our target. T step. Also notice back arm is now bending on my throw. T step. Final two parts is a rotate and then a follow through. Rotating our chest at our target and our chest shouldn't over rotate past our target. So if my target is the door, my chest will rotate until it is squared up with the door. T-step rotate. Notice my arm is at a 90 degree angle. And then finally the follow through is gonna be across my body at the door. T-step rotate throw. T-step, rotate, throw. T-step, rotate, throw. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys all later.